I'm glad we I'm glad we uh, we got some closure to the uh, the gestalt the idea. Um, so I think what we're going to do is um, something a little bit different. Quan uh, and and Cynthia and myself we we had a meeting last week, and some ideas were thrown about. Um, obviously, we're going to be transitioning into a little bit of Plato's mind very soon on uh, Quan's suggestion. Either we're going to read all three of the trilogy, which I hope is possible, of the Theotetus, Sophists, and Statesmen. Maybe we're going to only read one of them because it's these are long, and I don't. You might spend a year doing that. I don't want to necessarily invest in a whole year of doing just that, but we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll be flexible. Um, but before that, Juan had uh, a couple of of concepts that uh, I'm looking forward to him unveiling and introducing, uh, insofar as it, as it pertains to. Some science, some epistemological lessons embedded in some science fiction stories that a lot of us have encountered and didn't realize what was going on bubbling below the surface regarding Dune and what's the other one by Asimov? The Foundation Trilogy. The Foundation yeah. Trilogy, which I've never read, nor have I read Dune actually. I've just watched the movie, I'm embarrassed to say. So, anyway, Quan, do you think that we're going to be introduced to that? Yes. Uh, 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 I, 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 I would like it to be very interactive because even if you did not read the books, okay, because it would take 10 to 15 minutes to give you a, a, a thumbnail representation of the two novels, okay? Uh, and uh, because uh, once again, uh, well, I have to admit that my obsession is trying to uh, infuse enthusiasm in people so that they want to read Plato, okay? Be because one of the oligarchical trick precisely is to make you think that Plato is difficult or elitist or uh, out of reach. It's not true, okay? Because let's not forget that Plato 25 centuries ago was in the midst of a political crisis, a little bit like what we are living today, except mm -hmm. the nooks, okay? Except for the nooks, that's a big difference. But, and he created his dialogue precisely to create more aristocratic man because the root solution is always the classical education. It's because the root solution is to create as many as possible high quality human beings that would be capable to say no to the oligarchy, okay? And not waiting, uh, uh, not to have food or drinks or heating before beginning to protest, okay? That you need to protest before that. So, but uh, the Foundation Trilogy and Doom are two very interesting science fiction uh, series uh, conveying the, the uh, everlasting fight between the closed oligarchical system and the open oligarchical system or aristocracy. And uh, it would be a kind of uh, entertaining, well, at least I think it would be a kind of entertaining introduction to the, tr the trilogy by Plato, Theotetus, on true knowledge or the true epistemological growth, the sophist, how to uh, identify uh, the shenanigans of the oligarchs precisely, and a statement, okay, uh, a, a specific case of episteme, of true knowledge, but in the case of politics, of how to create the right city uh, with justice ruling in that city. Cool. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Quan. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually take what you just said. I'm going to make it a little snippet of a, of a standalone little thing for a promo to try to get some more people in. Okay. Um, are you going to do this in one class or two? Probably in one class it would be enough, but I, I, I would see uh, if there is a lot of interaction. Suppose that we talk for, suppose that we have two hours. Yeah. I would like to talk only for 30 minutes and the rest would be enthusiastic and to interaction, I hope. We'll see if the God within <laughs> finds us. All right, good. Bye, everybody. <laughs>